is up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys who the Detroit Lions breakout player will be in the 2020 NFL season. So let's get it started. Welcome into another video, guys. I'm glad you guys are here. And about five days ago on Instagram, I put out a post and I said, hey, oh, 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 hey, what's up, y'all? I didn't see you there. Anyways, I know a lot of you guys have had a lot of questions about what a membership is for the Dose of DN 2.0 channel. And like, how do I become a Hall of Fame member? How do I become, you know, an all pro member? You guys see those names at the end of videos, but how do I become that? Well, a lot of people have had questions, so I just want to address this really, really quickly. Basically, a membership is that you being become a member of the channel, and it's a monthly, you know, it's a monthly purchase. It's like one of the one of the tiers for me is $199, and the other one's $499. $499 to become a Hall of Fame member, $199 to become an all pro member, and they come with perks. Now, the perks are listed if you click on the join button how do you get to the join button well on the home screen of my channel there should be a join button next to my channel name but i believe this is only visible if you're on desktop or laptop laptop not sure why it's not available on mobile i don't think it is so if you click the join button it'll actually tell you what your perks will be now for me a lot of the perks for hall of fame members are going to be coming when the season starts i have a lot of cool things planned that hall of fame members will get access to that maybe non-members won't i mean obviously you'll still get content but it would be deeper stuff for hall of fame members you guys can read through them a lot of it is too be determined for Hall of Fame members, but trust me, I got y'all. I'm working on a lot of things. I got a lot of things in the background that I have planned for when the season starts to kick off, so just stay tuned for that. So if you guys do want to become a member, if you guys want your name at the end of the channel, like a lot of people do, um, and you guys want some you know, exclusive posts that I do put community posts on, you guys can become a member. It's never required. It's always appreciated. It's up to you guys, but I just want to give you guys that because I've had a lot of questions about it. All right, now enjoy the video. I'll see y'all later. I'm out. Hey, comment below your breakout player for the Detroit Lions in the 2020 NFL season. By the way, follow me on Instagram. It's right over here. Does a DF 2.0, all undercase letters. And I had some really good comments and I was reading through them. And I'm like, okay, I see what you're doing here. I got DeAndre Swift. Okay, it's a rookie. I ain't mad about it. I ain't mad. I can rock with that. DeAndre Swift. Amani. He was probably the most popular player I saw in here. Amani Orarie. That's a good choice. Amani was really good last season. I don't know how bigger, how much bigger his role will be in 2020. But I think down the road it will be. And last season we saw him ball out when he had the opportunity. Tracy Walker. By the way, that's a good choice, my guy. I'm just saying. I, you're about to find out why. Uh, so that was a good one. I really like that one. Tracy with TJ Hawkinson. Second year tight end. Second year tight end. It's a lot of times they can ball out. So that's a really good one. Justin Coleman, who I would say about the first five weeks of the season was pretty good from what I could tell. And then he kind of slowed down after that. But he did show us a lot of potential. Uh, Martha Ford. Probably the best answer on here. I didn't even think of that one. Don't know why I didn't think of that one. But hey, you know. Martha Ford. Okay, my God. Uh, you know, Hawk. Yeah, there, I mean, a lot of similar answers. Romeo Cora, by the way, that's a great answer. I'll get into that in a second. Reggie Ragland, Elijah Lee. So some really good answers on here. Um, this guy say Trey Flowers? Oh, carry on Johnson. Carry on Johnson. I love that one. I love that. And I think he said Trey Flowers. Okay. I said Jared Davis. So all good answers. All good answers. And me personally, the first player I went to to think of, and I, that's Romeo Cora. I've talked about Romeo a lot. I think Romeo has a lot of potential in the 2020 NFL season because in 2018, he was really, really good. If you go back and watch the Lions in 2018, you'll see Romeo pop off your screen a lot. He was basically a starter in 2018 for the Lions, and he had a huge role in that defensive line. In 2018, the Lions played a lot of four defensive linemen sets, a lot of them. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting that until I went back and watched it. So he had a huge role with the Lions. And he was big time. He was big time, right? Romeo has the versatility to play on the defensive end and interior defensive lineman positions. He was big for them. Uh, Deshaun Hand, this season, really didn't get to see him. Only played in three games for the Lions in 2019. So he could be one of those guys as well. And I was considering putting both of these players on here, just one of the two. So I'm watching these players. And in 2019, Romeo kind of lost his role, right? The Lions went to three defensive linemen. They had snacks. Ashawn and Flowers take mainly the snaps and he would rotate in and out, but it wasn't the same kind of role he had in 2018. But one guy that kept popping off my screen, the one guy I wasn't even here for, it, and that's that's how I look at it, man. If I'm not looking for you, but you're still popping off to me, I'm all of a sudden excited. And that was Tracy Walker. Now the thing with Tracy Walker is for me, it's hard to put him as a breakout player because breakout to me means, hey, you were quiet. I really didn't hear about you too much. All of a sudden, the very next year, you came out of nowhere. You surprised everyone. Everyone's talking about you. That's what I look at as a breakout player. And I don't think necessarily everyone was talking about him last season, but I don't think he was one of those guys that was completely forgotten because he was thrown into the fire last year. See, 2018, this 6'1", 210-pound safety was drafted in the third round out of Louisiana. Now, in 2018, he didn't have 
have much of a role because Quandre Diggs was still there, Glover Quinn was there, heck, Deshaun, Deshaun Sheed was still there. So he didn't have much of a role in 2018, and Glover Quinn was kind of that leader in the back end, and it really helped the Lions defense as it was much better than it was in 2019. Glover Quinn, statistically, according to Pro Football Reference, 28 receptions on 42 targets, three touchdowns, 121 pass rating, and he had an 8% missed tackle percentage, so that was 67% huge percentage allowed. Not bad numbers from Glover Quinn, and that was his final year with Detroit Lions. But then in 2019, Tracy Walker had to step into the fire. Glover Quinn decided to retire after the 2018 season, and then later, during the 2019 year, the Detroit Lions traded away Quandre Diggs. I don't know what it was, okay? It was kind of a messy relationship, and I think they were just trying to fix that, so they moved on. So all of a sudden, Tracy Walker is like, oh, snap, I'm that guy in the back end. My second year, Tracy Walker and our rookie, Will Harris, are the guys in the back end. Now, the thing is, Tracy Walker wasn't thrown into the fire week six. It was week one. Week one against the Arizona Cardinals, this guy had a responsibility to take on Larry Fitzgerald many times, man to man. You're telling me a guy that barely played in 2018, really his first year is 2019, a safety out of Louisiana in the third round has the responsibility to take on one of the best wide receivers of all time, Larry Fitzgerald. Absolutely. And Larry Fitzgerald... He, he did him a little dirty a few times, but Tracy Walker did hold his own. He made some big plays against Arizona, coming up with an actual interception. He came with an interception. And when you look at his numbers on the season, they were pretty darn good. And that's why it's hard to say he's a breakout player because in only 13 games, he had 103 total tackles, an interception, and eight passes defended. On 57 targets, he only allowed 37 receptions, which is 65%. He allowed five touchdowns, 117 pass rating, and only 11% missed tackle percentage. His numbers were good. A second year player, but the first year he really took over. And his numbers were pretty darn good. And he showed me so many flashes. So it's hard for me to say, okay, yeah, this guy's going to be a breakout player. Unless I think that he becomes one of the best safeties in the league, which is what I'm going for in today's video. See, the Lions really value having safeties. And that's why this offseason they traded for Deron Harmon. That's why back-to-back -back years they drafted safeties in the third rounds. Safeties are super important. And after talking about Jeremiah Dinson and Jalen Elliott, safeties are on my mind, man. And as I continue to watch these guys break them down and just see what they do well and what they don't do well, Tracy Walker is that guy that I'm looking to and comparing these young players to and I'm saying, wow, Walker's really, really good. And he's not perfect. He does make a lot of mistakes. And he was eating up against some really good players. But... He also held his own against some really good guys. That would be thrown into the fire. To me, year three Tracy Walker with Duran Harmon, with Will Harris can be one of the best safeties in the league. I mean it. This guy can man-to-man -man against wide receivers. So that's not something that he struggles with. Obviously, he can play against tight ends. This guy can drop down into the box. Over 100 total tackles. That's going to tell you something. His run support is great. His instincts are are, his instincts are on point. He can recognize where the pass is going. He can read the quarterback's eyes. I love his ability and coverage and blitzing. 90.4 grade in pass rush, according to PFF. Across the board, he was a good player for the Detroit Lions last season. And to me, the only way I can put this guy as the breakout player is if he's going to be recognized as one of the better safeties in this league in the 2020 year. And I think he will be. Safeties are utilized heavy in Matt Patricia's defense, and three safety sets are no joke. And Tracy Walker is going to have to be huge for the Detroit Lions next year, and I think he will be. To me, he's the leader of the, that defense. He's one of the leaders of the Detroit Lions defense, and he was in college of Louisiana. That was something that was great about him. That's what we've done when we drafted players. Will Harris was the leader on defense. You know, we bring in all these undrafted free agents that were leaders. Jalen Elliott was a team captain. We bring in these guys, right? And Tracy Walker was that. He was that first dude that Matt Patricia brought in at that safety position. The first year Matt Patricia was here, they brought in Tracy Walker for a reason. And he stepped into the fire. He stepped in. He just went all in for it. Okay, the Lions said, hey, go do your thing. And he stood pretty tall. I wouldn't say he was perfect. He stood pretty tall for the short lines. And you're telling me that another year with a great safety like Deron Harmon, that veteran safety that can help him, this guy is going to be a monster. I think he's going to be looked at as one of the best safeties in the league. And I think as the Detroit Lions defense improves next season, I think he will also. And that is why Tracy Walker to me will be the Lions breakout player in the 2020 season. I think a lot of people are going to start to learn Tracy Walker's name. But I also do think there's some other players that could definitely be on here. Kerryon Johnson is great. When I have a Kerryon Johnson research, resurgence video, I've talked about him a lot. Kerryon is going to prove to people next year he's still Kerryon Johnson, right? So you could put him on this list as well. Romeo Cora, another great option. I think if he starts to get some of that rollback, because right now there's a lot of questions. You know, it was Sean Snacks, Trey Flowers, Kennard. But now when you look at the defensive line, there's no Sean, there's no Snacks, there's no Kennard. So that the only guy that's the same is Trey Flowers. I'm assuming Shelton's going to be one of those guys. And maybe oh, Julian Okora is the jack role. But who's the other one, right? When I watch Romeo Cora, he can play out in the edge role like linebacker. He's dropped into coverage at times. Julian Okora can do a lot of different things. He could earn the starting role. He kind of earned it in 2019 with seven and a half sacks. 
barely when he wasn't able to make the Giants team, he had seven and a half sacks for the Lions. When you look at a guy like Austin Bryant, he could be your breakout player because no one's talking about him, but he can do both. You could look at Deshaun Hand. They have great rotations there. And I think those guys will help each other, but I don't think any of those guys will necessarily pop out as the best because I, I think they're all good players and they'll all rotate in, uh, rotate in well. But to me, Tracy Walker is that guy in the back end. TJ could have a great year in year two because that's what you see out of tight ends. And I would not be surprised, honestly. The first round pick is a really good player. He does a lot of things for the Lions. I think he's going to be much better because we've seen good tight ends with Daryl Bevel. We've seen Luke Wilson have great years. Jimmy Graham have great years with Daryl Bevel. And I think TJ Hawkinson has way more potential than any of those guys. Amani. Obviously, Amani is great. I don't know what his role would look like in 2020. It may look nearly the same as it did last year. But if you look at Amani and what he can do in the future, 2021, 2022, this guy is going to be a monster. So I think there's a lot of potential players that you could definitely say here and you really can't go wrong. But for me, I'm going with Tracy Walker. This guy continued to pop off my screen and I'm just saying to myself, this is that dude. This is that dude in the back end. So there you go. And it's crazy. This guy's 25 years old, man. This guy's going to be great. Tracy Walker is my breakout player prediction for the 2020 season. Comment below who yours is. Make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram. Thank you for watching and I'm out.